Hey, welcome YouTube. I'm Aniket, and you are watching Vet Study. So today we will discuss about the teeth anatomy, right? So before starting, I suggest you that you can follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram account, I usually upload reels related to veterinary. Link is in the description. So let's start the teeth anatomy. Uh, before starting, we have to go through some uh, terms, general terminology. So the first terminology is. heterodonty so what do we mean by heterodonty so in different species uh, the development of teeth is different right uh, they develop in different manner in 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 case of the shape and size and uh, because the purpose of uh, uh, difference in development is that the teeth perform different specialized job in different species so the difference in the development of teeth in different species in terms of their shape and size is known as heterodonty okay so it is the difference in the development next term is the thecodont so thecodont that teeth are implanted into the alveolar socket of upper and lower jaw bones okay along their margin and this arrangement is called as the thecodont as we all know that uh, the, suppose this is teeth and this is embedded in the alveolar socket so this arrangement is called as the thecodont i will show you this this is teeth right and it is uh, uh, embedded in this bony socket so this arrangement is known as the thecodont okay next we have the brachydont the third one is the brachydont so brachydont also known as the low crowned teeth so brachydont or the low crowned teeth are those teeth that are uh, that those crown remain above the gingiva or the this crown remain above the gingiva this brachydont right uh, you can see this crown is above the gingiva and it is mainly present in the men and carnivores but when we talk about the hyposodont the next terminology is the hyposo hyposodont hypsodont or you can say hypsodont so uh, hypsodont or the hyposodont uh, condition uh, occur when the part of the body uh, occur below the gingiva okay so the difference between the brachydont and the hy hyposodont is that in brachydont uh, the body is above the gingiva in hyposodont the body is below the gingiva so uh, this type of teeth are present in horses and ruminant okay hyposodont horses and ruminant so this is hyposodont and uh, this is brachydont so uh, this this is the definition which is given in your rk ghosh book right next we have the diphyodont so next terminology is diphyodonty so diphyodonty is a condition when one set one set of teeth is replaced by the one set of permanent teeth okay so one set of teeth is replaced by the one set of permanent teeth that is known as the diphyodonty and if the other term is the polyphyodonty if this one set of teeth is replaced by several set of teeth is known as the polyphyodonty right so through the life so uh, i think the difference between the diphyodonty and the polyphyodonty is clear now diphyodonty uh, one set of teeth is replaced by one set okay in polyphyodonty one set is replaced by several set so this is the difference next is uh, next we have the monophyodont so monophyodont uh, is the tooth uh, or present in those animal which do not have deciduous teeth okay Uh, for example rats rats do not have deciduous teeth this question is very important rats do not have their deciduous teeth right and they possess uh, the permanent teeth only for the for their lifetime okay so monophyodont example is the rat 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव दी स्ट्रक्चर सो ऑल द टर्मिनोलॉजीज आर क्लियर नाउ आई थिंक हाइड्रोडोंटी थीकोडोंटी ब्रैकेडोंट हाइपोसोडोंट डायफायोडोंट पॉलीफायोडोंट एंड मोनोफायोडोंट दीज टर्मिनोलॉजीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ सो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ हैव फाइव कॉम्पोनेंट मेनली फाइव कॉम्पोनेंट द फर्स्ट इज द क्राउन द फर्स्ट इज द क्राउन एंड समटाइम वी कॉल्ड इट बॉडी द सेकेंड इज द रूट द थर्ड वन इज द डेंटन एंड द फोर्थ वन इज द पल्प कैविटी पल्प कैविटी एंड फिफ्थ वन इज द पेरी ओ डोंटल यू कैन ऑल्सो से दिस लिगामेंट और मैमब्रेन इन योर बुक इट इज मैंशन मैमब्रेन यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल दिस लिगामेंट राइट सो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ डिवाइडेड इन टू दीज फाइव पोर्शन नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस वन बाय वन लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द क्राउन सो दिस क्राउन यू कैन सी दिस इज क्राउन दिस पोर्शन इज द क्राउन द क्राउन इज द एक्सपोज पोर्शन ऑफ द टूथ विच इज कवर्ड बाय वेरी हार्ड ट्रांसल्यूसेंट मटीरियल नोन एज द इनमल इट इज द हार्डेस्ट पार्ट ओके सो इट इज कवर्ड बाय द द क्राउन इज कवर्ड बाय द इनमल एंड इट हैव फाइव सर्फेसिस दिस क्राउन हैव द फाइव सर्फेसिस ओके सो इट इज द एक्सपोज पार्ट विच इज मेड अप ऑफ द इनमल एंड इट हैव फाइव सर्फेसिस दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्राउन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रूट so root is the this is root this portion is the root right so the implanted part uh, or the narrow part which is covered by thin yellowish material uh, which is known as the cementum is known as the root so the exposed part is the crown the uh, the embedded part is the root crown is covered by enamel root is covered by cementum okay now let's talk about the dentin uh, so this is dentin so the third part is the dentin and dentin is the portion which give the bulk which make the bulk of the tooth it make the bulk of tooth right so uh, dentin make the bulk of tooth and it is composed of well organized dentile uh, tubules right next we have the pulp cavity so pulp cavity is the central canal within the dentin you can see here that this is the dentin portion right and within this dentine we have a central canal this is known as the pulp cavity and that this cavity is expanded uh, expanded and to it form a uh, pulp chamber over here right you can see it th at this point this is expanded and, and it form the pulp chamber when you go downwards when you go downwards you will see a area uh, canal is narrow here right you can see canal is narrow here and at the root portion it open in a apical foramen at the tip of the root you can see this is the apical foramen so this pulp cavity open here at the apical foramen it is not mentioned here apical foramen right at the tip of the root pulp canal is lined by a specialized uh, type of cell and these are known as odonto blast cells so odontoblast cells are present here and they line the pulp cavity right next we have uh, the pulp cavity also contain some connective tissue arteriole and nerve fiber as you can see there, there are uh, blood vessels okay and uh, nerves and the artery right next uh, and the last portion is the periodontal membrane so periodontal membrane is a portion which actually hold the tooth Uh, it is present between the bony uh, this is the bony portion bony bony alveolus you can say and the cementum this is the cementum portion right uh, so uh, the periodontal ligament or the periodontal membrane is present between the bony alveolus and the cementum and uh, what is the function of this periodontal membrane this is the collagenous layer and it help in suspending the tissue uh, sorry the uh, tooth okay to ye tooth ko pakad ke rakhta hai right so these are the uh, five structures present in a tooth after this we have classification okay so if we talk about the classification of tooth there are mainly four type of tooth four type i think you all are aware about these four types 
द फर्स्ट वन इज द इंसाइजर्स द सेकेंड वन इज द कैनाइंस द थर्ड वन इज द प्री मोलर्स एंड द फोर्थ वन इज द मोलर्स सो इंसाइजर्स आर दोज टूथ विच आर एंटीरियर मोस्ट दे आर प्रेजेंट एंटीरियरली राइट एंड नेक्स्ट टू इंसाइजर्स देर आर कैनाइंस सो दीज आर एनसाइजर्स इंसाइजर्स एंड नेक्स्ट टू इंसाइजर्स दीज आर कैनाइंस विच आर प्रेजेंट राइट नेक्स्ट टू कैनाइंस वी हैव प्री मोलर्स सो दीज आर प्री मोलर्स राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट टू प्री मोलर वी हैव द मोलर्स सो दीज आर मोलर्स द मेन डिफरेंस इज दैट द इंसाइजर आर प्लेस्ड एंटीरियरली वेर एज द प्री मोलर्स एंड द मोलर्स दीज आर प्लेस्ड लेटरली लेटरली राइट सो दे आर प्लेस लेटरली एंड दे आर प्लेस लेटरली टू द चीक दैट इज वाई दीज आर नोन एज द दीज आर नोन एज द चीक टूथ टीथ सॉरी चीक टीथ so uh, combined premolar and molar combinedly called as the cheek teeth okay and uh, there are two type of teeth if we uh, th- this is a classification but uh, on the basis of shape and place right uh, there is also a classification on the basis of uh, the uh, uh, the teeth erupt eruption of the teeth right so there is a type type called as the deciduous teeth or sometimes we also called it as milk teeth and the second is the permanent teeth permanent teeth so the difference is that the deciduous teeth are found at birth or they may erupt a few weeks after birth right whereas the uh, permanent teeth er, uh, they uh, start erupting from one year of age right and end at the 3 to 4 years of age so they start erupting from one year of age and end at 3 to 4 year of age but there is, there are some differences in uh, different species uh, today we are talking about ruminants so in ruminant there is a special uh, portion present in ruminant that is called as the dental pad so dental pad is a structure present in the upper jaw of the ruminant and in the upper jaw of the ruminant there is no incisors no incisors are present in upper jaw this is very important very very important in the upper jaw of the ruminant there are no incisors okay uh, there is a uh, there is a pad like structure present that is called as the dental pad right in ruminants only in ruminants this question is asked many time in your exam in your uh, this question is asked in our exam also and can be asked in your exam also right very important question next is the uh, the term is the diastema so what is what is diastema it is it is nothing but but the interdental space so interdental space is known as the diastema next important thing is that number of roots because uh, you have to learn the number of roots present in different uh, teeth why it is important it is important in case of when you do surgery this uh, aspect is important right so let's talk about upper and lower jaw uh, premolars and molars so in case of upper jaw uh, the premolar have two to three roots whereas molar have three root and uh, in case of lower jaw just opposite the scenario means premolar have three roots and molar have two to three roots this is important right apart from this let's talk about the eruption eruption of permanent tooth in ox this is also very important and this is used to identify or the calculate the age of ox because in this video we are talking about the cattle only so the ins- let's uh, talk one by one incisor 1 incisor 1 erupt at the age of 18 to 24 months so if you look at the cattle and you uh, so that uh, the incisor one eruption occur permanent the, the, uh, we are talking about permanent teeth only okay not the deciduous teeth if you look at the cattle and you look at them and uh, you see that the one first incisor is permanent so the age of the cattle will be 18 to 24 month if two incisor two permanent incisors are present then the age would be 24 to 30 months if three permanent incisors are present in the cattle then 
the age would be 30 to 36 months if fourth incisor or sometimes some books also uh, called it as canine whereas canines are not present in ruminant okay so this if fourth incisor is present then uh, the age would be 40 to 48 months now this is this is all about the incisors let's talk about the premolars if uh, permanent permanent premolars are present in case of uh, ruminant then the age would be 36 months right and if first molar first molar uh, eruption occur the age would be six months so th this is on the basis of incisor this is on the basis of premolar this is on the basis of molar if you look at the molar and uh, molar start erupting it means the animal is six month old and other molar appear at the 30 months okay so this is all about the uh, eruptions permanent eruption permanent tooth eruption in the cattle now look at the let's look at the dental formula we will discuss this in detail when we discuss uh, different species teeth in the next video okay so uh, this is the dental formula of ruminant this is the deciduous dentition and this is the permanent dentition you can see here that there are no incisor teeth in the upper jaw because i already told you that the incisors are absent in case of uh, uh, sorry incisors in the upper jaw are absent in case of ruminant incisors in the upper jaw only only upper jaw lower jaw may incisors are present okay so this is all about uh, the tooth in the next video we will discuss about differences in species link is in the description thanks for watching